damn, this video has been long overdue. Probably a month and a bit, I'm not too sure. But I finally found the time to get this video out and get some time to do it. So let's get on to it, So I haven't got long. But what is going on guys, it's your boy HC Jammers here and I'm bringing you guys another Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. Well it is a gameplay, but it is a video, commentary video of some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. But so yeah, this video is not about the gameplay, but I'll highlight really quickly. Uh, another 6v6 TDM, uh, using the Remington R5 again. I believe I'm using uh, suppressor and red dots, so I'm not actually looking at my screen. And I believe it's a 30 plus team death match, I'm not too sure. And it is on the map Sovereign, a map I hate with a passion. But yeah, but so yeah, moving on. So, um, yeah, this video has been long overdue, like I said, it's been a while because I was supposed to do this video a week or two. Uh, but, uh, you know, university work's been piling up. Um, you know, I probably did mention this before. Um, I did want to get back into Call of G, but my disc is having problems. Uh, I think I did mention that, I'm not too sure. Yeah, my disc is having problems, and even uh, another problem that's added to the mix is my membership, my gold uh, Xbox Live membership ran out the, just the other week, and I haven't renewed it. I've only used the seven day trial that they give you, uh, or that Call of Duty Ghost gave you when you bought the game. And I think it runs out on Saturday, I'm not too sure. But yeah, the problems pile up. But with the university, uh, you know, a lot of work, uh, a hard working semester is ahead of me since I've just got back to uh, university. And this term I am writing, or I'm starting to write my uh, 10,000 word dissertation for my third third and final year. If you don't know what a dissertation is, uh, you know, look it up on Google. University students, you already know what a dissertation is and you already know the tough life, the hard knock life that is ahead of you. But um, yeah, that's pretty much um, on that front, but I'll get into deeper into that later. Um, yeah, so things I wanted to just cover over this video, because this would probably be another update video sort of thing. So yeah, I'm still here, still kicking, uh, still doing commentary videos. Um, so the first thing is, uh, anybody who's bought the <clears throat> anybody who's bought the Onslaught DLC maps uh, for Call of Duty Ghost, uh, let me know how that is, because I'm actually tempted to buy that, because I, I've heard some interesting things about it, and I heard the gun that was featured in that, or the DLC gun that's there, it's pretty interesting as well, so uh, someone who's bought that, let me know uh, your thoughts on that, because I'm not going to buy it straight away without thinking, because, you know, membership's run out, the disc's not working properly, my Xbox doesn't want to read it, and uh, yeah, stuff like that, so let me know um, for the third time, if anyone's actually bought it, and if it's good. Um, so, another thing as well that I wanted to mention, uh, so I did my previous video, that I did it like ages ago, uh, it was a sort of change of pace thing, you know, should I stop uploading Call of Duty, upload it more frequently, upload a different game like Battlefield, or should I wait till Titanfall? Uh, so I got feedback from various places, Twitter, YouTube comments, and Facebook, etc. And uh, I was, so overall the summary was, uh, don't get Battlefield 4 because there's apparently there's many glitches in the game, and it's probably not fun on consoles no more, but this is from a Battlefield guy that I know, and I've known him for a while. And he just said, probably just don't get Battlefield 4, you're better for him for Titanfall. So shout out to him, he knows exactly who he is. As for Call of Duty Ghosts, well, I told you my little predicament, so I can't really do anything about that. I'm, I'm using gameplays that I racked up right before my disc decided to go on the Fritz, which was around New Year's, I think. Not too sure. And as for Titanfall, well, I've had a lot of interesting things about it. Uh, I've seen some good stuff about it. I'm hyped for Titanfall. Um, unfortunately... Uh, I won't be getting on Xbox One because, uh, so my birthday is coming up in about a month and a bit, so what I'm uh, focusing on, you know, or there's other things that I want that I'm interested in, like anime, uh, manga, and little bits and bobs here and there that are revolving or being released around my birthday time, so probably around like the 20th of March uh, to the 28th, and my birthday's in between those dates. And, um, so I want to get those little things, and as I just said, I'll get the Xbox One later on in the year. So, you know, I will be getting Titanfall, uh, fingers crossed I will, but I won't be getting it on the best platforms out there, so PC and Xbox One. I'll be getting it on the downgrade version, Xbox 360, but hopefully it'll still be good. And I know there is a beta for um, Titanfall uh, being, I think it's out already, or it's out in two days' time, I'm not actually too sure, for PC and Xbox One. So anyone got those two platforms, uh, let me know how Titanfall goes on Twitter. I know it'll blow up when people play Titanfall, because that game is mad hype right now. And it will just bring new life, or just reinvent FPS shooters completely. I can just see it now, my eyes closed, it's brilliant. But uh, yeah, Time 4 will be on my channel, but uh, you know, in the, in the near future, in the near future. What the hell, I can't even speak no more. But um, yeah, so as my uh, university work, I, I say this every time, but you know, uh, things just keep piling up, but nothing really goes according to plan, and university is, you know, education does come first, because I did want to upload more college videos, but um, you know, when 
problems come like this and then your university work just increases because you know the university waits for no one so uh, the problems pile up and it just gives you less time to uh, upload videos and sort them out and the thing is with me is um you know uh the footage i uploaded on my channel already like you know raw footage that's easy because you just slap it into sony vegas and just render it and then upload it to youtube commentary videos take a little bit more time because you got to think about what you talk about you know sort out the setup as such uh, this that etc and it takes a little bit more time and then you know university can clog up all your time and you don't ever get time to commentate this is why this video was just long overdue also uh, this week uh, lightning returns comes out so probably some uh, gameplay footage of that will be on my channel in the upcoming weeks so if you're interested you can come check that out if you want if not then you just wait till you know the video that or the videos that I upload that you subscribe for but um you know that will be pretty much it from me I feel like I've missed out something but hopefully I've covered everything I've covered up Titanfall problems in university and my Call of Duty disc my membership ran out yeah I think I've uh, covered everything and the Call of Duty DLC yeah all right everything's covered up so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary hopefully you guys got the gist of what I'm trying to say here just be patient FPS shooters will be back on my channel real soon as soon as Titanfall hits my friends will be getting it soon and they'll be able to give me their opinion on it and then I'll be able to uh, give my verdict on the game when I get my hands on it myself in around the end of March but uh, yeah I'll close up the commentary here guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary by your boy HG Jams and I'll see you guys on the next Call of Duty video or possibly Titanfall video so until then peace out YouTube